Hey everyone, I got my window open, so if you hear any birds, sorry about that, but um, I did not record my follow-up this weekend due to me actually having another cold. I actually caught another one this time, it actually was down in my throat, so I couldn't really talk that much, but I did uh, set a few things up. There will be a few clubs, like our tech podcast will now be coming to Clubhouse, and uh, Austin's Tech Space will also be coming to Clubhouse where y'all can come out and follow me on Clubhouse and chill and chat. And um, we all talk about WWDC after WWDC occurred. So without that in the way, uh, we're really close to WWDC. Uh, We got a software update today. iOS 14.6 now is out for registered developers and public beta testers as a release candidate. You can see it right here on my iPhone 11 iOS 14.6, Apple Inc., 4.7 gigabytes. Came in at 4.7 gigabytes, uh, 3.99 gigabytes on the iPhone um, 7, and I have not, but I'm going to install it on my Pro because my handoff was not working last night. Learn I, for HTTP so if I hit iOS 14. Learn more, learn uh, more here, learn more. and I'll walk, I'll walk you through all these, uh, what's new. Done, but Apple Card family. All right, Apple Card family. I currently do not have a high enough credit score, so I... I do not have Apple Card right now, List but I kind of want it. Apple Card can be shared with up to five people, including anyone 13 years or older in your family sharing group. Bullet. Apple Card family adds support for families to track expenses, manage spending with optional limits and controls, and build credit together. List end. That's 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 good. I I I like that. I like that uh, option. Hold on, I'm moving stuff around on my desk because I'm trying to get everything ready for hurricane season. Also, so. Podcast. Bullet. List now here's podcasts. Bullet. Subscription support for channels and individual shows. List end. Support for channels and individual shows. Air tag and find my. Air tag and find my. I know I uh talked about it briefly on this channel about the but I didn't talk about it as much as the uh, rest of the people around the tech space went bat crazy over the how the air tags can be they won't notify you for three days if they're tracking something. But here we are. Bullet. Lists lost mode option to add an email address instead of a phone number for AirTag and find my network accessories. All right, that's cool. Bullet. AirTag will show the partially masked phone number of the owner when tapped with an NFC capable device. List end. NFC capable device. Don't know why VoiceOver said that, but also, um. Accessibility. Now, accessibility, and this iPhone's trying to fall over. If you're new to my channel and you're just watching here, why not click that subscribe button and turn on all notifications where I can keep you updated for the latest updates. Also, if you're wondering why I'm using voiceover, I am visually impaired myself, but also I like to include uh, the tags for um, people, you know, uh, for people that are visually impaired or blind so they can see what's also on my screen over here that, you know, my sighted audience can see. So here we are. HTTP for him. All right, it bullet. dropped me all the way down there. This voice control bullet. Expert bullet. Lost mode of bullet. Air tag will show the partially masked phone number. Accept bullet. List start. All right, so accessibility. Voice control users can unlock their iPhone for the first time after a restart using only their voice. List end. Okay, that I'm gonna actually I want to mess around with that. I didn't know that was new. This release all, bullet. This release also fixes the following issues. This release fixes the following issues. Bullet. Unlock with Apple Watch may not work after using lock iPhone on Apple Watch. Okay. That was interesting because the video that I made where if like one of my friends walked around and unlocked my phone without my consent, even though I was wearing the Apple Watch, so oh fun. Bullet. Reminders may appear as blank lines. I don't use the iPhone's reminders. Because I'm good at remembering what I need to do. Bullet. Call blocking extensions may not appear in settings. But that's nice that they fix the the call blocking extensions may not appear in settings. And then the um, reminders. Bullet. Bluetooth devices could sometimes disconnect or send audio to a different device during an active call. Never had that problem, but I don't have AirPods. Bullet iPhone may experience reduced performance during startup. Now, okay, that reduced performance hit me when I installed beta 3. I went for like five and a half hours where I had Geekbench scores of like 500 to 800 to even uh, 
1,200, and multi-core performance was below three, the average 3,000 with the A13 uh, chip. So if you do install this update, uh, it'll probably be out to the public later. Um, yeah, th this is my what's new. Um, that That's all that's new for 14.6. It's been performing really well beta-wise too, as my battery right now is at... Austin's iPhone, 76% charged. And it's right now... 1325, status bar on. Which is 125 p.m. I've had it unplugged now for 14, going on, nah, 15 hours now. And I'm at 76% battery. So I'm getting really good battery life for beta 3. So if you are on the uh, beta 3 or beta 2 or you're on 14.5.1, well, if you want to, you can go through the hassle and install 14.6 currently because it's a release candidate, which is going to be the same build as the public release. Or you can uh, wait till that comes out. should be coming out at the end of this week. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you on another video. Peace.